Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk about how to avoid scams on Paxful. A friend of mine was recently scammed on Paxful and today I decided to talk about it to help other users remain safe. Now Paxful is a very legit exchange, it's a very wonderful place you can buy lots of funds and personally I've used Paxful to purchase lots of assets and made profit from it. But however, wherever there are good things you can also find are very bad people there now it happened that she wanted to do some things on Paxful and uh, of course got into the wrong hands i'm going to share the experience with you so that if you're making use of Paxful, you can know exactly how to do it now on Paxful, there are several merchants and you can find several people here all these people here you see are called merchants some of them are very legit doing legit business some of them are very very fraudulent now, where, how do you find a fraudulent one? A fraudulent one could be somebody that increases his price just to attract you to trade with them. Okay? Like I said, there are several things to do on Paxful. So, let's talk about what was she actually trying to do. So, this friend of mine wanted to buy TransferWise phone. This happened in two attempts. So, let's get straight to the first one. So, in the first case, she contacted me and she wanted to buy TransferWise phones. And usually, if you want to buy TransferWise phones, you are supposed to come to this area okay you come to this area to buy transferwise funds just search for it and this is exactly what she did okay now when she typed in wise and she opted to buy transferwise funds there are several merchants here there are several merchants you can buy your transferwise fund especially in dollars okay so uh of course you have to just change your location i'm, I'm kind of making this very detailed so that Whoever is watching this will know exactly what to expect when you are trading with these people. And especially those ones that are unverified, you have to avoid them. So she actually chatted one of these guys. She clicked on sell to sell her Bitcoin to buy transferwise funds. And this is what happened. So within a very few minutes, the user just claimed that he has paid her. Okay, you can see the user just claimed that he has sent payment to her and of course this is not real the person did not pay the person just used fake things to claim he has made payment to her and it was actually very very disappointing okay so when she sent me this picture uh she screenshotted and sent to me i was like okay let us sort it out and finally we sorted it out on paxful and paxful canceled the transaction meanwhile you can see the amount of a us dollar the user claimed to have sent to her the user even sent her a screenshot of a fake payment proof okay i'm just going to close um cover her name okay but then this is the amount the user claimed to have paid her of course and this is fake okay and of course this could mean that she was trading with a kenyan user because this is in kenya shillings all right now uh, after person intervened we actually closed this and i told her to wait until another time i'm going to assist her and we're going to do it together so she accepted on the second time was when this scam finally happened so let's talk about it so on the second time when she tried to contact me she couldn't reach me on time and she decided to do it by herself now she decided to create an advert to buy a sc uh, screw funds yes screw funds and when she created the order she did not like the terms of the trader okay of the merchant so she decided to cancel the offer now she got this it happened that this scammers or uh, whatever sent her a fake mail this is a fake mail from a fake Paxful support and they sent her a fake link that could actually hack into her account okay so she clicked on this link the link was sent to her mail okay so she clicked on this link in attempt to close the offer and then when you click on the link it's actually asking you to log in and put in your details your password of your password account and she, then then she logged in using this link put in her details and then that was how they got her logins and then transferred all her assets out of her password account to their preferred exchange so now i'm putting this out because most of us or people using Paxful do not actually know exactly how this works and i'm glad a lot of people will see this uh publicly that you should actually um be very careful and don't click your any link on your email sent from Paxful support 
most of them are fake they will not even send you such links to because when you see something like this you find that they're asking you to uh, log in and the, the, the website looks exactly like password website but it's not the original password website you just end up giving them your login details and then they hack into your account send all your funds and then you become stranded so this is also an extension of the email she sent uh, the email they sent to her asking her to do this and do that and this is actually very wrong these guys have created another Paxful website that looks exactly like Paxful and when you don't like the trade you don't like the terms of trade and you want to cancel they immediately send you a mail to a an email to your mail asking you to log in through that link and once you click the link you are going to be shown where to log in like i said once you log try to log in your account will you have given them your account information and of course you will not find your assets again because they are going to empty it or send it back to their own wallet so after a few minutes the original paxful sent her email and this is uh, an email from the original passful account now the app buyer has actually cancelled the trade from his end but he has successfully sent her another email uh, of a fake passful account now this you can see this one just bears paxful and then you can see this one is bearing paxful support okay there are two different things okay now you should have to actually be very very careful of these things you must be very vigilant when you're trading with passful it's actually a very legit exchange but then there are lots of persons who um who can go wrong when working with this and i know by putting out this information out there a lot of persons will be safe when trading with passful when buying lots of funds on passful we've heard lots of information about passful and how terrible it can be when you're buying funds of course this is because there's a lot of fake merchants on passful and you have to be very very careful with them i've actually traded with tons of good ones but then it doesn't mean there are no fake ones there they are actually fake ones and you have to be very very careful and i know this is going to inform you on their moves so you know how to be safe when trading on paxful so here is back to the uh, paxful platform and there are little things you want to find out first of all one way to be safe on paxful is don't trade with anyone anyone who has overly high figures like this is a suspect most of them aren't actually fake because many of them have different places where they buy their bitcoin so they can actually go and buy there for example i have lots of people from different countries that sell bitcoin to me at unbelievable unbelievable prices and i buy and we make profit together okay it doesn't mean they're actually fake but then when you come to see them on paxful with lots of them like this sometimes they are not real okay some of them are real but many of them are not okay that's what i'm trying to put out there even if they are verified okay so you have to be very 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 careful of them okay now these ones you see that has uh that has prices on the same range can actually be original because this is going to be the normalized price on parcel okay right now now you can see many of them have around 48 48 48 48 48 this can be really terrible because you can be confused on the one to trade with but generally you should not trade with somebody that has overly high price and you know or overly cheap price okay it can be overly high it can be overly cheap maybe something that is supposed to sell for one dollar somebody is selling it for one cent or somebody that's something that's supposed to sell for hundred dollars somebody is selling it for one dollar okay so something you're supposed to buy for a uh, hundred dollars somebody wants to sell it to you for two dollars or fifty dollars uh, of course those can be very very funny practices so this will be the end of this video you want to like subscribe to our channel like this video so that lots and lots and lots of people will find it and become safe on paxful so that they know how exactly how to make use of the platform and know exactly how to um make use of it okay now like i've always said don't accept any mail don't log in from any mail from your password account from your email please don't log in from any link sent by password support to your email because obviously they don't send any mail so that'll be the end of this recordings and see you on the next one